Hello everyone, Teacup Tempest here, and today I'm going to be building one of the towers you see behind me. If you've seen my previous video, you'll know that I mentioned I would be building one of these towers, and you will have seen the town that I am currently working on. I have brought this town into the newest snapshot, which is the 21W08B. And there's just not a huge difference with the, the changes. Um, check out my video from Friday or my most recent video. And I have my thoughts on all of that. But today we are going to be building this tower. So let's get to it. Here I have a 7x7 seven seven square block laid out. And I already put in the floor, which is the deep slate tile slab. Over here, you're going to need all these blocks. So you'll need a deep slate brick block, the deep slate brick stair, deep slate brick wall, warped stem, warped stairs, oh excuse me, the stripped warped stem say that a few times fast and then you'll need the warped slab you'll need the polished deep slate block the polished deep slate stair polished deep slate slab polished deep slate wall gray stained glass the deep slate tile crimson door lanterns chains anvils which you can use whatever you want i wanted to really take my gloves off and and not restrict myself to doing a survival type build so this is like max imagination using whatever because i know the next block sea lantern can be a little hard to get as well and i honestly think shroom light would work just as well or you could just do some other block there and then of course you'll need a ladder so let's go over here and get started with our deep slate bricks so as i said you have a seven by seven square and we're going to start on the left hand side and let's bring this up by seven one two three four five six seven skip by five so one two three four five and then bring it up by seven one two three four five six seven okay and then let's connect these two and let's do this all the way around now we have the first level of the tower done so it's this level here oh see i put a little bit of detail in there i totally overlooked and didn't mention it as a block so let me get that guy taken care of we'll go ahead and put that in our list so you're going to need the chiseled deep slate as well so let's go in and put that on our corners. Okay, we need another 7x7, seven seven, so let's bring these up by 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and connect it and let's do this all the way around Thank you. 
And then let's go ahead and plop our polished hair on the corners. Okay. We will worry about the top part when we get up to it. So let's start building the lower part. For this, you're going to need the stripped, I do believe. Actually, no, I'm going to use the stripped here. What does that do for the inner walls? Okay, it looks like I just used the, uh, be polished. So let's just go around and place in our inner walls and let's take this all the way up. Alright, then let's go back down here and start using our warped stair. We're going to place a right side up and upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, and then starting from this upper left corner, let's do a right side, upside down, right side, upside down, and below that, right side up, upside down right side up, upside down, right side up, and then let's alternate here on the bottom as well. Now we have this little outer ring. Now let's take our polished stair, do right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, and then again over here. And this is what you will have. At this point, let's break out these, oops, I need to save these in the middle. Break out those two. Let's go ahead and grab our lantern and put that there. And then let's take our polished and on the upper half of the lantern, place a polished stair, or stair, goodness, slab. And then on the lower half, place a polished slab. So now you have this. You'll want to break out these blocks here for the glass bits, I do believe. Yes. So let's go on the... <laughs> I don't have a door yet. Here. And place our glass. Okay. And that's what that would look like. And then down here, we have the deep slate bricks. So be sure to line this around the bottom as well. Okay, and let's show you how to do this again. Right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, right side, upside, right side, upside, right up, right up, 
right, up, right, up. And then I'm gonna make ourselves have a little bit easier time, and I'm gonna go ahead and break these four and place our gray stained glass. That's one of the things that is great about building is as you go along, you can find ways to make your life easier. All right, let's place this upside down, right side up, upside down, right side, right, upside, right, upside. Okay, let's break this block and this block and grab our sea lantern. Then let's grab our polished slab, do the upper half of the bottom sea lantern and do the lower half at the top sea lantern. And then there's one thing I forgot to do. And let's place our wall. So let's do that. Place our polished deep slate wall. And there you have it. I am going to do this pattern all the way around. So if you need help, just rewind this part of the video and replay it. Okay, we have the bottom part done. Let's add in the door. Let me go and look at how I did this. So I left one wall and placed a slab underneath that. So let's go do that. So let's break this stair, this slab, this wall, place a slab there, and break this. And then I wanted the door to be pretty fortified, so I came in here and broke those blocks. And lined the entire door with the polished deep slate. And then let me grab the crimson door and put that on. Let's, uh, let's keep doing this pattern and I will be back with you whenever I go to put the top on here. So for now, let's continue putting in our inner pattern. It's always easy to miscount, guys. I totally think I miscounted this. Two, three, four, five. No. What is 
Am I just... Am I just crazy? Chris, we're... Maybe... Did I make this one more like eight? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did. Okay. Well, that would have been nice to know before I got started. So I miscounted over here and I started counting with this block when I should have started counting with this block. So let's just fix this really quick. Mistakes do happen, and it's all okay. Just fix it whenever you realize you did it. I'm recording this late at night, and I'm kind of tired, so... Definitely prone to making a mistake or two. Hey. But this still doesn't seem... Okay, no, it just ends on an upright stick. Okay. Let's keep cracking. Now we have the first two uh, seven by sevens completed for the tower build. Let's go ahead and fit in the door. So let's break these two blocks, those two blocks, take out this uh, wall block, 
the NA slab and then let's come on the inside and break these two blocks and replace those with the uh, if I can find it, my marker bone always blocks me here and put the polished deep sleep there okay and then now let me grab this crimson door and place it right there and I will be putting the walkway on at the very end for you guys in case you want to add that to your build. If you don't, if you don't want to do the walkway in the middle, do not do this part here. Okay, let's start working on the upper part. Let's start with the deep slate brick stairs. And on the ends and the middle, place an upside down stair all the way around. And then on top of these stairs, we're going to want to place the deep slate bricks in a square all the way around. Okay. And then let's bring these up by So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's bring this up at six. So one, two, three, four, five. Let me grab the, oops, got that covered up. There we go. The chisel deep slate for the sixth block. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And the chiseled. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the chiseled. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. And let's connect all these up. <laughs> I is counting again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, these are just up one higher. So let me fix that really quick. Six. Okay. Oops. Now let's grab our deep slate bricks and connect everything up. Okay, now let's take our stripped warped stem and in these corners, bring that all the way up in every corner on top of the chiseled deep slate. Okay, then let's grab our polished and let's do, let's see, I remember I had to place some blocks through here just so I can easily do this. So right side, upside, right side, upside, and then you can break these. These are just here to help you do the pattern. So right side up, upside down, right side up, upside down, and then let's break these. Okay, next we are going to need the slate brick wall and the anvil. Let's run the wall across the top. 
and the anvils across the bottom. And there you have that pattern. And let's do the same thing over here. So place your placeholder blocks, then do you put the polished right side, upside, right side, upside, break these four blocks, and do it again. Right side, upside, right side, upside. And then let's take our brick wall across the top and our anvils across the bottom. Let me change the time really quick. Okay. And again, on all sides. Okay, now we have the top pattern. Now let's start working on the roof. For the roof, I did a arched roof. So we are going to need a deep slate polished slab. I'm going to clear out some of the stuff. We are going to need the warped slab. And the polished deep slate wall. Okay, so let's start over here on the left hand corner. Place a slab, then place a second slab, and then stack a slab on top of that. Then on the upper half of this block that you've made, Place another slab, and then a slab on top of that. And then again, upper half, place a slab, then another slab, and again. Okay, now you've hit the middle of the building. So let's start going down. Place a slab, and then below that, place a slab. On the lower half, place a slab, and below, place a slab and continue that down okay here you're going to want to place another set of slabs and then start afresh on the left hand side so place a slab another slab stack slab stack slab stack slab stack and then let's start going back down, so slab, down, slab, down, slab, down, slab, and let's go ahead and place that there, and then again, slab, slab, stack, slab, stack, slab, stack, slab, stack, and then let's start our way down, and again, on this side, Didn't do something right on this one. Oh, yeah. Let's try this again. So, um, slab, slab, stack, slab, stack, slab, stack. Okay, I've hit the center and. There we go. 
All right. And you're going to have something that looks like this. Now let's grab our warp slab and do a square ring on this inner ledge. Do this all the way around. Okay, now, when you're making a roof like this, it's important to kind of have a particular frame of mind with it. You see these three slabs here? The one behind it is one level higher, okay? See these two slabs? The ones behind it are one level higher. You see these two slabs? The one behind it, one level higher. If you can follow that, you can more or less make this roof. So let's actually do one of the things I started doing whenever I was making these roofs. And let's start with the... Because I like doing the... Um, the uh, polished deep slate slab as like a uh, dividing point in the roof. So let's make that right now. So start with the highest, most deep slate slab. Come out and up, out and up, out and up. You only need to go over by three at this point and do this on all sides. I lied, you need to do it by four. Yeah, let's do it by four. And let's continue to get this all the way around. Okay, and now at the top, I like to place a full block because I'm going to be placing a chandelier below. So let's do that and then place up two. Let's go ahead and put our polished deep slate wall block on top. Okay, now let's on this left hand side continue where we left off. So let's go one block higher. Okay, let's go one block higher. Okay, let's go one block higher. All right, and again, one block higher, one block higher, one block higher, and again. Okay, and let's keep going until we get to this point. And there you have it, and you just need to repeat that on this other side. It also doesn't hurt to come in here and do that as well. Just go ahead and fill that in. Alright. One block higher. One block higher. And you'll notice I didn't make this one higher either because I just don't like the way that looks. So, just keep building it up like that. Okay. I keep saying one block higher, I should be saying one slab higher. But I think you all know what I mean. Okay. And then let's keep doing the same thing. You can do that as you're filling this in. I just overlooked it in my trying to explain it in a way that 
makes it easy for you. Okay. And then I like to do a little bit of chain and some lanterns. Good places to place some of this. Let's see, how did I do it? I didn't do any there. Okay. And then I like to light up my builds a little bit more. You don't have to do the ones in the corner or anything. This is really up to what you want to do. Alright. And then let's do a chain and lantern here on these corners. Let me change the time. Great. Okay, well, let's add in one thing about builds is you can always continue adding layers of detail. So one of the things I did is these little decorative bits right here on the uh, on the uh, chiseled deep slate. So let's go in and do that. So over the chiseled deep slate, you're going to want to place your uh, deep slate wall or brick wall block and then on top and below place some stairs so below place it upside down and above place a right side up this is a nifty little trick just to add a little more depth and character to a build Let's just do this all the way around. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else other than the walkway and the way to get up? Okay. So. Let's take a look at this walkway. It looks like I did that and then this is... Okay, I just kept doing bricks with the anvils. So let's go over here and do this. So one, two, and three. And then place a stone brick here. And then... Here, place an upside down stair. Here, place an upside down stair. Below this brick block, place an upside down stair. I do recall I had to change this to make it work. And there you have the support. Did I only do it by two? I did it by two. Okay. And then let's bring this across. And this can go as far as you need it to. And then across the top, I did the anvils. And then I did the soul lanterns. You are going to have to squat to be able to place these. So we'll do that. And there you have the little bridge. You do not have to do this. You do not even need this crimson door. This is just in case you want to have a dual tower set up like I have. Okay, let's go inside. Let me grab the ladder. And then I'll finish up by showing you how that did the interior of the other. So let's... Uh, Find our center point and let's bring this up all the way to the top. Okay. And then let's go back down and place our ladder all the way up. And 
then the only opening you're really gonna need is where the ladder is. So let's grab this tile slab and bring that around. Okay. And now you have a way to get up here. One of my favorite things to do is take a trap door and place that over the ladder. Just adds a little bit of a... It's nice to be able to close it and not be accidentally going down your ladder at times. But yeah. Not too bad, other than I kept miscounting at times. Alright, let's take a look at the interior. As you can see, I placed a little bit of barrels. And let's, uh, and I also placed a second floor in here. You can totally do that yourself. And some more barrels. And then let's go up here. And, uh, looks like I did something a little different for... Why is this so different? Hmm. Okay, I just did a different pattern. Okay. Let me make sure I didn't do something weird. But, as you can see, I put a fletching table and some barrels, a little chandelier to light everything up. And, yeah. There is your tower built. I hope you found this informative. Please like and subscribe. I try to post Minecraft videos every Friday. And I may be posting a little bit more since I have quite a bit of things I want to do. But we will... We will see. I would like to have the house build next. And stuff like that. So yeah, that's all I got for you today, and uh, I hope you have a good one. Until next time, goodbye.